All right, guys, welcome back to episode 51 of the Football Manager 2022. Save with hearts. In the last episode, it was the big 5-0, and we did what we do best, and that is beat Hibs. Natural order was never in doubt. Edinburgh is maroon, at least in the cup competitions. In the league, not so much. We're actually trailing Hibs by 12 points, albeit, yes, we have a game in hand, but... I honestly, I don't see us catching Hibs. I'm actually more concerned that we might not even get top six. We need to put a run of wins together. We've got four games left before the split. As to our opponents today, Ross County, Dundee and Mullerwell, the teams occupying fifth and sixth place have three games left. So it's basically a big shootout. Like even Dundee United are just a point behind us in ninth. They're on 36 points. It, it's going to go right down to the wire. So from Dundee, Mullerwell, Ross County Hearts, and obviously Dundee United. And there goes the dominoes sound effects in the background. Yes, guys, I'm getting a dominoes. So I can't promise this episode's going to be too long. But I want to try and fit two games in. So we're going to try and get Ross County away, trip to Dingwall, and then we'll have to run back down to... Uh, Run back down to Livingston. It's going to be a fair old trek, but we'll see if we can do it. Let's get into the game then. Like I said, we need to bounce back. Fernando Lorente will still be out. I'm hoping he's back for the Europa League match against Napoli, which will be an absolute classic. I uh, cannot wait for that. But before that, like I said, we've got league issues to deal with. And uh, we did pick up a big win over him, so let's try and keep that momentum going when we take on County. Alright, here we go then. Lots of fitness problems, but I've managed to rotate the squad as best as we can. We're going to play Ben Woodburn up front because Presley hasn't been scoring. Boyce hasn't been scoring. Only Fernando Lorente is the guy that scores goals, really, if we're being completely fair. And he's out injured. So, yeah, no, we're going to give Woodburn a chance and see what he can do. Smith, Kingsley and Hall Harry Hall ugh, Harry Chapman are all not fully fit. Yeah, well, I mean, the entire team's not fully fit, mate. Get used to it. Five changes we're making. From the team that beat Hibs. I mean, this isn't ideal, but the Winter Cup has screwed us over. The fact that we're doing well in all competitions apart from the league has screwed us over. We're just going to have to make the best of a bad situation. But some good news is, in our last four games against Ross County, we were unbeaten. So we tend to have, you know, good form against Ross County. We tend to get good results against Ross County. And we'll need that today. We will need to continue that form because and I don't even think staying unbeaten today that may not even be enough realistically we probably have to win this but Ross County they'll be feeling the same they'll be feeling like they need to pick up three points as well to keep pressure on Mullerwell to keep pressure on Dundee so all we can do is try our best and, and try and pick up three points but it is fatal that we don't lose it's Mackay to Chapman Chapman back post to Moore heads it into Balligan surely what a chance Balligan shot blocked he, he swipes at thin air Balligan again this time to Perez. It's Rui Perez. I wish it was Roberto Perez, but now nah, we'll have to settle for him. And that ah, attack comes to nothing. All the way back now to Moore. Why the hell? We went from being right there up to up in the box to absolutely nowhere. Woodburn in the middle. Ball not hit towards him. And uh, we, I think we've got this on extended highlights. We ain't having a match against Ross County on extended highlights. No chance. Back down to the key we go. How many keys are Koki you gain, me man? I need all the cocaine, brother. Uh, Craig Gordon at the moment played no bad. I was actually thinking about dropping Craig Gordon, but I think the last time I dropped Craig Gordon, I say dropped. I mean, that sounds a bit harsh. That sounds like Craig Gordon's done something wrong. And it was almost a goal there for County. Almost. Uh, but yeah, no, I was considered on resting Gordon because, I mean, he, he's 40 years old, 41 in the game. I don't know. He can't play every single match. We need to be realistic here. So yeah, I was thinking about resting Gordon, but then I thought, you know what? Nah, Craig Gordon's a champ. Craig Gordon wants this. Craig Gordon wants it. He can have it. And I've decided to play him. Hopefully then he can be the difference maker today. But 20 minutes in, not much happening. We did have that early attack that pretty much led to absolutely nothing. And uh, since then, it hasn't been great. Uh, Barry Mackay's playing a 7.1. No, Ginelli has been suggested to come on for Chapman. Chapman's done already. Chapman is indeed dead and buried. Not good. But we'll see, we'll see half time. I mean, half time, I might make some changes. I can't make, really make substitutions at this stage unless it's an injury. Um, let me see here instructions. We need to. I want to get the overlaps going. Let's get the overlaps going with Kingsley and Michael Smith. Kingsley and Michael Smith, though, not got much energy uh, left in them here. The condition ain't great. 
them bombing up the wings probably isn't the best idea here, but we're going to go for it. So we've had six shots now to count his three, but nothing really since that first highlight. So it's been a quiet game. Barry McKay keeps dipping in and out of the seven rating. Uh, no one else is really delivering for us today. Kingsley looks like he's had enough. One minute he had on time. It's been a really, really poor first half. It's nil-nil at the break. And you know what? Both teams would probably settle for this because both teams can't afford to lose this. So the fact that we've kept clean sheets, I'm sure we're we're not happy, but we're content. And I'm sure Ross County feel the same way. Uh, hands on hips here. You've all done... Um, you've all done... Uh, have we done well, though? I haven't really created much. Um, give me... Um, Let's see here. The fans turned up. Come on, remember the fans, guys. I don't know. What else can I say? Nothing else really seemed um, suitable. So, yeah, we'll just tell them that the fans are here. Look at the jambos in the att in, in attendance. There's mere maroon shirts and there is Ross County shirts. So they go out and win it for them, guys. Come on. That's what we need to be telling them. Uh, right, mentality-wise, I think we are going to go attacking here. That's what we're going to do, and we are going to encourage the players because I think they need it. I think they need a wee bit of encouragement. Look at all those green happy faces. That's what you want to see when you shout for the sidelines. Well, I'd rather see goals, actually. If I'm being honest, I'd rather see some fucking goals, but, I mean, I guess we'll take green happy faces in the meantime. Maybe that will lead to goals. Speaking of goals, could this be a goal? Kingsley crossed into Barry McKay. Goal! Barry McKay, brilliant. Fantastic. And the referee... No, fuck right off, man. Assistant's got his flat. Where's VAR when you need it? Absolute joke. Didn't even get to see a replay. Probably got nothing to do with the fact that I've replays turned off and more to do with the fact that we're just fucking being robbed. Robbed of a perfectly good goal. Right, um, let's make some changes here. I mean, what's Ben Woodburn done up front today? Absolutely fucking out. That guy is shite. Um, right. Going to bring on Josh Ginelli, and we are going to bring on uh, Presley. We'll bring on. Uh, we'll bring on Presley. Boys, his sharpness is pretty poor. And is that it in terms? Is anyone else should we bring on? He's focused. Michael Smith's focused, but not in a good game. We'll bring on Jamie Brandon, and we'll get Jamie Brandon to attack on that wing back role. And here we go, then, guys. This is pretty much it. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's take it to him. In the last 20 minutes of the match instructions, we want to go more direct. We'll go slightly more direct and up the tempo, higher tempo. We're going to start hitting early crosses as well because, yeah, I mean, that's working the ball into the box shit isn't really working at the moment. So we need to, we need to just try something different. Clark is coming off for Clark or Charles even. Charles Cook's away off as well. I mean, you look at this Ross County team, there's a lot of shite names in there. Samuel White. There's no names that really... You know, they don't really motivate you. Don't get me the excitement. Where's all the like, like foreign sounding names? Where's all the good sounding names? But here we go, Ginelli. That name sounds no bad. Balligan sounds no bad. Devlin sounds all right. Presley's a bit shit, but here. Rock and roll. Elvis. Bullet to Randall. Connor Rand. Oh, no. It's into the boxes. Whoa. It's tipped over. It's not tipped over. The crossbar's actually saved it. Crossbar. Doing Craig Gordon's job for him, but Ross County not laying down here. They're continuing to fight back, and that's another header over the bar. Chance gone. All right, let's let's um, let's just go more direct then. Let's do this. Uh, let's try and shoot on sight as well, guys. Come on, we need a fucking goal here. I really, we're going to go ferry attacking. I really, 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 really don't want to drop points. I want to win this. Kingsley with the throw to Perez. Kingsley... To Balligan, Perez, Kingsley, I mean, uh, Balligan, long ball up. It's not bad, actually. It's found Ginelli. It's a great ball. Ginelli, through to Barry McKay. He's been denied a goal already. And this time, it's the fucking goalkeeper that denies him. Earlier, it was the prick with the flag on the sidelines. Now, it's the goalie. Kingsley whips one in. No. Oh, and I, I, I don't know. It's a harsh player that got a touch on it. Shite. Absolute shite. Three minutes of time remaining. Monroe launches it up. Balligan heads it back to Craig Gordon. Craig Gordon has got it, but we need to get it forward. Moore, big ball up, and that's... Wow, why is nobody chasing that? Why is nobody going after that? And now Ross County are coming after us, but they gave the ball away. 
Presley out to Barry McKay. He's been the spark for us so far. What can he do here? Barry McKay trying to find Ginelli. Ginelli brings it down into the box. Presley, go! And you can't fucking chop that one off, you prick. It's Hearts 1. Ross County nil, and it's two minutes for time. And fucking Elvis Presley. Rock and roll has given us the lead. Just, all right, shit, quick. Um, very defensive. Crap, right? Um, oh, waste time. Waste all the fucking time. Out of possession. Get everybody back. Backs to the wall, like you're in a gay bar. Get your backs to the wall, lads. Come on. It's frozen on me. What's what's happening here? Right, um, right, let's go. Much, much lower line, right? This is it. This is it. Can we hold it? A minute and a half to go. A minute and a half to go. No more subs remaining. It's a win that would put us above Ross County. And that's it. We've done it. We move above Ross County. We don't move into the top six, but we've got three points, and that's all you could have asked from us today. Former Hearts man Ross Callaghan getting booked there in the last minute of the game. But it was Elvis Presley rocking and rolling up front that saved the day. His goal, two minutes from time, has gave us a much-needed win. And that is brilliant because, honestly, I feel like it's been about 10 years since we last had a win in the league. So, nice work, everybody. Absolutely buzzing. That's exactly the sort of result I wanted just before the El Dominoes arrives, boys. So there you go. Finish line's getting clearer. What a strike. What a goal. What a win. And you can see now we're only a point behind Dundee, a point behind Mullerwell. That was crucial, that game. And uh, we delivered. Well, we didn't really deliver, but we got the win. That's what matters. Who cares about the performances? It's all about the wins. And um, we have some issues now. Woodburn, Pires, Moore and Smith all look a little jaded. And could do with a rest, so that's not great. But the entire team is pretty much jaded at the moment and needs a rest, so we'll just have to we'll just have to work around it. It's not ideal, but again, what can we do? At the moment, what can we do with all these games coming up thick and fast and us not having the biggest squad and we've got a shitload of players out on loan. Um yeah. Like I said, next season I will be looking to use the youngsters, so if anybody's not good enough. They're probably just going to be getting shipped out, and if they are good enough, then they are going to be, you know, featuring as part of our plans. Michael Smith, the Rolls Royce, has been left out the Northern Ireland side. Why? I do not know. Uh, personally, I like Michael Smith. Personally, I think he should be in the team, but for some reason, he's not. Ian Barraclaw is an absolute prick. So, uh, aye. Here we go. We've got Rangers versus Selic. Who's going to win that one? That could decide the league. I think Rangers are top. Celtic are a couple of points behind. I'm talking shite. Uh, Celtic are in front of Rangers and now they're further in front because they've won the um, they've won the Glasgow Derby, the old from Derby. Two men sent off, Morelos and Abada. I would have liked to have seen that one, but we didn't get to see it. We were too busy whooping Ross County's hole. So, uh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Big three points there. Last two games have been massive and we've won them both by one goal to nil. Now we move on to play Livingston. 11th placed Livingston. And if we can win this, surely we will go into the top six. Dundee and Mullerwell can't keep winning. It's about time we got back where we belong. And that is at least minimum top six. We should be higher than that. I think we should be third, at least competing for third. But like I say, this season in the league hasn't went our way. But we can still salvage it. There's still a few more games to go before the split. And we have to make sure we are in the top six before that split. Or else, you know, it's pretty much a failure. Here we go then. Again, as you can see, a shitload of changes from the last match. Seven in total. Brandon, Suter, Benjamin, Halkett, Devlin, Presley and Ginelli all come in. Smith, Moore, Ball, Devlin, Perez, Woodburn and Chapman all drop out. I think based on those seven changes, you could, you could definitely say that we have a better starting 11 in this game than we did in the last. So I'm hoping by that logic and the fact we're playing struggling 11th place Livingston and the fact that we're at home and the fact that we're just fucking better than Livingston, we should be able to go out and win this. Um, Livingston have lost all their five last league games. Like, yeah, let me, let's go with that one. Jesus Christ. If we don't make it six defeats in a row, I will be massively disappointed. I'll be throwing that water bottle off Barry McKay's dome. I can guarantee it. So let's get into the game. Let's see what Livingston have got to offer us today. Hopefully not a lot. Hopefully they just sit back and accept defeat. That would be nice. But uh, sometimes that doesn't really happen in life. So it could be an upset. Who knows? Benenjami. 
spin them out, plays it back to Halkett. Suter, like I said, is set to leave in the, the summer, so enjoy him while he's here, guys, because I don't think he's going to be here after that. But we do have two defenders coming in, two centre-backs that have already signed on pre-contracts, and they both look good, but this looks good. Jimmy Brandon, chance, goes down, penalty. Why would, there, why would he give a penalty away there, man? Brandon's going nowhere, he's on his own, he's took it into a shite angle. But uh, now nah, the Livingston player decides to dive in. And now it's a chance for Barry McKay to roll his socks up. And he puts it into the back of the net. Lovely goal. I say lovely goal here. It was a penalty. But here, any goal we score at this stage of the season is lovely. So I will take that. Brilliant. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. 1-0 up. Ah, you know when you want to make a comment, but you know you, you just can't do it there. I, I want to, but... There's something staring at me in this screen that's pissing me right off, but... Oh, and speaking of pissing me off, Dundee are 1-0 up against Ross County, which is um, not really what we want. At the moment, as things stand, we would move up to 6th place. We would be above Mullerwell, but still behind Dundee. Very tight. Oh, no! Suter! For fuck's sake, John! Big John! What have you done? Bruce Anderson's through. Oh, man, Suter... Suter well, no wonder Suter will take the blame. No shit! I mean, he was playing a 7.1 as well. Well, not after that mistake. That was horrendous there. Suter has to do better. I think Mullerwell are getting beat. No, they're not. They're not getting beat. All right, never me mind. That's us back down to 7th then. Again, not ideal. Uh, Dundee are beating Ross County. It's Suter. It's Suter out to Kingsley. Kingsley to Devlin. Kingsley spin the round. Kingsley looking for Devlin again. Devlin into Janelli. Kingsley, Devlin, brilliant play. Oh, Barry McKay! Go! Brilliant, lovely stuff. And is it going to count? I'm waiting on a flag going fucking up. It's Barry McKay's second goal of the day. He's already on the hat trick. And as long as we keep the ball away for John Suter, we should be able to see this out. Barry McKay, two goals in the opening 18 minutes. You love to see it. It's 2 1 hearts, and things are looking good. Quick check there, guys, for the dominoes. It's no here yet, so we've still got time. Don't panic. I'll just tell the guy, look, mate, son of Scotland 90s whipping Livingston's arse here. You're just going to have to wait at the door for 10 minutes until this match finishes. That, that's how how that's how that conversation will go down. But hopefully here, not, this match doesn't drag out. We're hungry for dominoes. We're hungry for pizza. We're hungry for success. And if we keep playing like this, we'll get success. So, Johnston are losing 1-0 to Hibernian Martin Boyle with the goal in the 34th minute. Puts them ahead. Mullerwell are still drawn with Inverness Cali Fissile. That would be a massive two points drop for Mullerwell considering Inverness Cali Fissile are bottom of the league. So, yep, let's go Inverness. Big up Inverness. Dundee are beating Ross County by two goals to nil now, which is unfortunate. Looks like they'll be picking up all three points today and I can't see us leapfrogging them as things stand. Livingston though, again coming forward. Uh, can we put a good challenge in this time? We do. Halkett, safe as a fucking house. But that wasn't good. From Kings, oh, shot for distance, hits the top of the crossbar, it was close, it was very close in fact, but thankfully it was not in, uh, Burning are now 2-1 up, it's half time guys, let's, uh, let's get into the team talk here, we're doing what we needed to do, I'm happy, I'm happy with how we've dominated possession, let's keep dominating it in the second half, we'll maybe leave it 10-15 minutes and then I will look to try and rest some players, Bring on some subs. Devlin to Kingsley. Kingsley back to Devlin. It's Benjamin. It's a good play. It's Janelli. Oh, Janelli. What a goal. What a goal. Pick that one out. Go keep on, man. Josh Janelli scores when he wants. And he scored an absolute rocket there. Right into the corner. No chance the keeper was saving it. Near post. Near post. Far post. No post. Wouldn't it matter? Goalkeeper has been stranded at his post. It's 3-1 hearts now. We're actually we're actually further ahead than I thought. I was about to say we're 2-1 up, but now nah, we're 3-1 up. We're actually dominating this match. They were in complete control. Suter's got another mistake. Oh, no, what's that? That's a fucking hell, man. I mean, that's just a shit goal to concede. And now we're going to have a nervy remaining 40 minutes when we really shouldn't have to. I mean, look at that. Livingston have actually had nine shots to R7. What is happening here, guys? Like, actually, what is happening here? Um, instructions. Let's go, let's go much lower here. Uh, we're gonna 
work the bond to the box still. Transition. Or we're just going to hold shape. We're going to regroup rather than counter press. Let's just distribute. Slow, slow the pasting. Yeah, so let's slow the pasting because, um, yeah, I want to just see this game out. I know it's very early to be seeing a game out, but let's not throw this away, guys. Here we go. Corner for Livingston. Alan Forrest will chase it. Presley gets to it. Presley loses out. Alan Forrest is now a hearts man. Is that, is that a sign we could make in this? Maybe. Maybe. But um, I tell you what, we need to make a save here. And that's a penalty. And as soon as he gives the penalty, Muller will take the lead. I mean, that is a double whammy. That is a double punch. Jab, jab to the dome. And uh, we need Craig Gordon to save this. It's the new Hearts man, and he puts it in the back of the net. Fuck him, we ain't signing him. Screw that. Absolutely screw that. And now, well, now we need to change what we're doing. Now we need to go... Oh, fucking hell, we never waste time. Uh, let's see here. Get wider. Transition. I want to counter press. I want to counter. Uh, we're going to push a higher lineup. Uh, what else are we going to do? I we'll think maybe we'll leave it for now. But yeah, we were free one up here. How it's free free now, I honestly have no fucking idea. That, that, that absolutely baffles me. We're actually going to go slightly more direct to the passing as well. And it will probably be substitution time coming up because we need to do something here. Livingston have had seven shots to our four, man. That's horrendous. That is horrendous. Oh, shit, something's happening here. I can't really see. I want to discard the changes. Yeah, I want to see what's bloody happening. All right, we're going to pause it and then make some substitutions. So, yeah, Muller will win as well now. That's a, it's a massive blow. It's an absolute massive blow. Uh, Harry Chapman's motivated. The problem is he's absolute shite, so I don't know if I want to bring him on or not. Uh, our attacking players are apparently having good games, though, so what do we do? You know what? No, I think we do. I think we go two up front. I genuinely believe that's the answer here. Two up front. Uh, Balligan and Halkett. Halkett's having a decent game. We're going to keep Halkett on. Um, we're going to bring on Liam Boyce, who hasn't really been doing much as of late. But we're going to play him. We're going to bring him on. Aaron Presley. You've got Liam Boyce up front. Let's see what they can do. And, uh, yeah, let's get into the remaining 29 minutes, 28 and a half minutes here. In desperate need of something, can Boyce deliver it? It's Craig Gordon with a short goal kick. Suter. I mean, he's made. He's not been good today. He could do with stepping up. Oh, not with a ball like that. Jesus Christ. I'd rather step down and it's... It's Bruce Anderson. It's 4 what? It's 4 three. How's that happened? How can that be allowed to happen? We were 3-1 up in this game. Livingston have lost their last five matches in a row. This is fucking horrendous. Uh, let's break the team. This is just not good enough, man. This is fucking diabolical. 24 minutes to go. And we're in, we're in real danger here, falling apart, throwing away three points. And what was that there? I think it was Jimmy Brandon's shite pass. And we could be in, we could be in trouble. Forrest to Holt. It's through or oh, not. It's off the post. And it, oh, it was offside. I think he's just been caught off there. Uh, let's make another sub then. Who can we bring on? We need to, fuck, we need to bring on players. Aaron Presley's not, he's playing okay, you know what, bring on Ben Woodburn, we'll bring on Harry Chapman maybe for, Josh Janelli's having a good game though, I don't really want to take him off, but, uh, we'll bring on, we'll bring on you there, and we'll, we'll play Chapman there, and then we'll play Cammy Devlin in there, boom, that's, that's it, I mean, that's pretty much it, we're, we're, we're putting as many bodies forward as we can here, I mean, we've completely changed up the formation, it's a poor ball out, I don't know who we're trying to find, but we didn't find him, and now it's Livingston again hitting us on the counter. It's Forrest. Good block. It falls for Omonga into Anderson. And it's Bruce Anderson. It's 5-3. What the fuck has happened to us here? I don't understand this at all. I really do not get this. <sighs> yeah, we'll keep the changes, man. We, we, we need to make more changes. We, we, we literally, I don't know what we can do. Direct, uh, hit early crosses, shoot on sight. Be more disciplined. Um, fuck this play out of defence stuff. We need to focus play through the middle. Um, let's go a bit more. I don't know. What can we do? We'll distribute over opposition defence. Take long kicks for Craig Gordon. Yeah, I mean, that's... Wait, I have Craig... I think I had Craig Gordon slowing the pace down there with the distribution. Can't be doing that. Distribute quickly, right? Uh, 19 minutes to go. I honestly don't understand how it's went from us being 3-1 up just after half time 
to losing 5 3. Four unanswered Livingston goals. Uh, simply not good enough. Mullerwell now 2 0 up against Inverness, so any chance of Inverness coming back and doing us a favour uh, looks to be well done. And you know what? We are in trouble now after this. There's two games remaining. I think we're going to be four points behind Mullerwell, four points behind Dundee, and we have to play Rangers. So it is real possibly, there's it's a real possibility that we could be missing out on top six, which would be an absolute disaster. Ball in, Halkett heads away, uh, only as far as Omonga, Holt, Nicky Devlin, Livingston here, taking their time. It's Nicky Devlin again down this right hand side, it's Nicky Devlin. Can we get a challenge in? Obviously not, I mean it's a block, it's Forrest, back out to Nicky Devlin. I mean six minutes to go, we need to get the ball now. It's Corbonu, it's, it's into the box. Oh, great sliding challenge. I don't know who it was for. In the end, I honestly don't think it's going to matter. I, I mean, Livingston have had 22 shots to our 10. What the fuck has happened to us here? This just ain't good enough. This is not good enough. And yeah, I think I think top six is gone. I think top six... We're, we're four points behind Dundee and Mullerwell. I mean, of course it's gone. We're still to play Rangers with two games remaining. Ball in. Woodburn with a goal. Come on. It's 5-4. Five, 5 minutes extra time added on. Come on, even a goal. Let's shout. We need to demand more. We need to demand more in this last couple of minutes. Can we get one last chance? We probably don't deserve it, but I'm begging for it. Ah, uh, 30 seconds remaining. Dohan down that right-hand side. It's Devlin. Livingston trying to see it out back to the goalkeeper. He launches it up again. And Forrest in a shitload of space, but Suter comes across and passes it all the way back to Craig Gordon. Why? Craig Gordon, he's got the right idea. Launches it up. Woodburn controls it. Loses it. That sums up Woodburn's season. And now it's over the top to Bruce Anderson. And he makes it 6-4. So there was one more goal in the game. Just not for us. That is absolutely horrendous. Imagine losing 6-4 at Tynecastle to Livingston. That is a dark, 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 dark day. And who knows? I mean, never mind missing out in top six. We could be t potentially getting sacked here. Full time. No happy. Not fucking happy in the slightest. We were free one up. That's embarrassing. The water bottle's getting thrown. Now, I don't care if oh, Barry Mackay and Kingsley seem demotivated. Go fuck yourself. I seem demotivated. I haven't been managing you sad sacks of shite. That's just not good enough. Not good enough in the slightest. Such a disappointment, mate. Go fuck yourself, Chris Adams. I'm not speaking to you. I am not talking to you. I have nothing to say to you. Yeah, so look at that. We're four points behind Dundee, four points behind Mullerwell with two games remaining, possible six points to play for. We're still to play Rangers who normally beat us in the league. That's not me being a defeatist, that's me being a realist. It's going to be really, really... Plus, our goal difference is pretty poor in comparison to the other two. It's going to be, it's going to be tough. Realistically, we need, we, need to beat, we need to beat Rangers. We need to beat, I believe, the other team of Ross County. And even if we win our last two games, you know, there is a chance that we still... Won't even get top six, depend because I mean all Mullerwell and Dundee have to do is win one in the last two, and you know we can no longer catch them. Janelli is going to be out injured for two weeks. Absolutely brilliant, Boyce. Uh, what? Uh, fuck Boyce, man. I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to say nothing to Boyce. I've actually had enough of Boyce. When Boyce comes on and starts scoring goals, then he can tell me what to do. Hearts fans are dismayed, bewilderment today, uh, da, blah, 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 Craig Gordon was singled out as being largely responsible, I thought he had a poor game if I'm being honest, Hearts have lost three of the last five games in the league, oh man, I mean I get it's a poor season, I, I, I get that in the league, but I mean you've got to look at the positives, we won another cup, we're in the semi-finals of the Scottish Cup and we've actually made it to the quarter-finals of the Europa League after topping our Europa League group. So, yeah, the league is shit. I can't deny that. I'm not denying that. But I think you need to look at the bigger picture. We're actually performing really, really well in, in cup competitions. But, I mean, sacking me would be a fucking harsh decision for real, wouldn't it? I mean, I think you need to get me to the end of the season. But I, I pretty much concede it now that I think top six is over. There's not a lot we can do. I think top six is gone. Kingsley, Halk, and Barry McKay are all unhappy at the training. Okay, I'll, I'll take that into consideration. We've got two weeks off here. So, yeah, two weeks off. I'm, I'm going to end it here. I've not a lot else to say. I'm absolutely fuming about that. Uh, it's, it's really, really bad. You know, our form in the league, as of late, just hasn't been good enough. You can understand why we're not in the top six. I totally get why the fans ain't happy. 
Uh, next time out we take on Rangers, then we take on Napoli. Wow, it's 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 gonna it's gonna be hard. Then I mean, we've got look at these games we've got coming up. We've got two Scottish Premiership games to decide our top six split. We've got two Europa League games coming up, and then we've got a Scottish Cup semi final against Rangers. I mean, these next what five games, six games coming up are absolutely insane. We need to, and we're we're we're, you know, we're on the worst run that we've ever been on in this series. It's just it's got really bad timing. We might have to change the formation up. I might just go with something completely different. I, I would prefer to change information in, in the the transfer run, not the transfer window, summer, you know, the off season. But yeah, nah, the, what we're doing at the moment is just not working for us. Uh, I mean, you look at some of our previous results in the league. It's, I mean, that losing four one to Inverness, two one to Mullerwell, conceding six against Livingston. I think something has to be done. I think something does have. But then again. Playing the same formation that practically got us to where we are in, you know, Europe. So, I mean, what can we do, guys? You know, what can we do? Anyway, that's it. I'll be back next time. Hopefully, we get some better results. Hopefully, we can have a happy ending here in the league. I mean, if we get top six, brilliant. But honestly, I think it's beyond us. We've still got Europa League to focus on and the Scottish Cup semi-final. I don't expect us to beat Napoli. I don't think anybody really expects us to beat Napoli over two legs. But we'll give it our all. I think the most important route into Europe now is the Scottish Cup. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on. Win the Scottish Cup, guys. We guarantee ourselves a place in the Europa League. And that's what our target has to be. Plus, we get another piece of silverware, which is always nice. So, yeah, that's what it has to be. We, realistically, we ain't going to win the Europa League and top six is pretty much gone. So, Scottish Cup it is. We'll be back next time for more Hearts Football Manager. But until then, guys, I'm going to go and eat a fucking Domino's. I'm starving. I wanted to win there. It didn't happen. Hopefully this Domino's is nice and cheers me up a wee bit. But anyway, till next time. Peace.